welcome back in the last class uh, we stopped at uh, uh, discussing the four steps to calculate uh, the co operating cost of uh, operating cost per services now let's discuss one by one uh, the transportation costing procedure involved the following steps number one step number one the selecting the cost unit as follows there are two types as we discussed there are two types of uh, cost unit uh, that is simple cost unit and composite cost unit if you want to calculate what is the cost per kilometer or per passenger then there's a uh, only sim one single cost unit that is kilometer or a passenger in that case it's called a simple cost unit if you're clubbing to a cost unit like ton and kilometer per ton per kilometer then you, you have to uh, clubbing this uh, unit and it is called as composite cost unit after choosing either a, a simple cost unit or composite cost unit next step is to uh, follow to calculate uh, the operating cost per kilometer is uh, choosing uh, calculating the total uh, units of the service for a particular period if in the case of per month or per week total number of kilometers run by the transportation company how many number of kilometers uh, uh, covered by the uh, company in a in a month or in a, in a year or in a week you have to identify first in, in that case there are two uh, things you have to do one is total effective kilometers how to calculate total effective kilometers very simple a very simple formula you have to use um, distance covered one way into number of trips per day into number of days operated in a month into number of months operated in a year if you apply this formula you can calculate total number of kilometers uh, traveled in the particular month or particular year or particular week you can calculate that this is a single simple cost unit if you want to club two things here one is passenger and another is kilometer then you have to go for a second formula where you can calculate the effective passenger kilometers you are clubbing two things here one is passenger another is kilometer in the case of this uh, you can apply this formula effective kilometers into seating capacity into uh, seating capacity occupancy rate if you multiply these three things you can calculate what is the total passenger kilometers in the case of passenger moving company where only transportation company carry only passengers if, if, the, if the company carrying the goods not the passengers then in that case you have to take the total kilometers into seating capacity I mean to say total capacity uh, ton into uh, total uh, capacity occupancy rate then you can calculate the uh, composite uh, ton kilometers and after that third st uh, step is now classification of the total cost incurred by the company as we already discussed in a transportation company uh, the cost which is incurred by the com uh, business in the, in the business will be classified into two types that is fixed cost and variable cost in the fixed cost what are the things are included should be categorized should be uh, differentiate and you have to label it as a standing cost that is uh, for example rent insurance license fees road taxes garage rent workshop expenses administrative expenses driver salary cleaner salary conductors uh, salary uh, supervisor salary this all comes under the fixed cost it no matter what whether the company runs the uh, business or not these are the expenses suits up every month no matter what whether there is a operation or not whereas fixed co uh, variable cost are those costs which are uh, which are varies from one level to another level one unit to another level um, for example this is also known as uh, running and maintenance uh, cost some of the examples for the operating cost are like petrol or diesel if it is petrol vehicle or vehicle, uh, uh, diesel vehicle based on that uh, it will be going to incur grease lubricant oil cost of a tire tubes and depreciation of the vehicle will all come under the maintenance running and maintenance cost this maintenance are uh, incurred for repairs and maintenance of vehicle okay it will be called as uh, variable cost 
they incur they include uh, uh, when you say maintenance cost it includes repairs maintenance pays overage overage and uh, uh, cleaning painting services uh, etc wear and tear comes under this all uh, expenses comes under the variable cost and after classification of this now last step is to prepare the operating cost statement when you prepare operating cost statement it helps you to calculate the operating cost per passenger in the case of simple cost unit if you are taking the multiple cost unit or composite cost unit then operating you can calculate the operating cost per passenger per kilometer if you follow this format so this is the format where you can uh, prepare the operating cost statement and we can calculate the operating cost uh, per passenger per kilometer see in the next class i will discuss the problem and also we're going to solve the problem in the next class thank you